right here now. Uh, I'm doing this interview with part of Inside Track TV, www.insidetracknews.com. Check this out. So, we're here with the driver of the number 34 Superstock here at Sunset. 12 years of age, rookie of the year contender, the youngest driver in Superstock history, Caden Labsovich. And Caden, you've been in this hot rod for a little over a half of the season now. How big has the learning curve been from moving up from, from the world of quarter of it just to the Superstock division? Uh, it's been uh, different, different from there, and it's uh, been good learning for uh, future. Now, have you found it the least bit intimidating getting out of here, out of here with these these, these full size cars and running up alongside of these guys of multiple championships of tracks across the province? I know a lot of these guys might try to lay a bit of contact to you. Is it intimidating at all? Uh, some of them intimidate me, but some of them also help me, like uh, just get behind some of the good guys and follow them around. And uh, some of them don't intimidate me. Tell that. What have been some of the biggest lessons you've learned so far in your half season competing in this car? Um, just about like. How do I work my throttle and everything and get off corners and go in? It's played a big part in my uh Now, this car seems to have really come alive the last couple of weeks. A, a huge improvement for the Tim Hortons team. Is that car setup or driver setup? Oh, it's a, a bit of both here. You know, we've uh, done a lot of work to this car and it's, uh, it's getting a lot better. I know that you guys have assembled a, a, a wide array of crew members and driver coaches to sort of help you out and bring you up to speed. Who's made the biggest difference for you so far? Um, well, my dad, Jeff Walton, and Tom Walters, they've been helping me a lot. Most of you probably done been the biggest ones to help me. So. Is there is there one maybe important piece of advice that you can pick out from from everything that you've been given, all the all the things that have been sort of crammed into your head in your very short time competing here? What's been the most pertinent piece of advice someone's given you to, to how to get up to speed in this Superstock class? Getting off the corners. Is that something you guys struggled with uh, heavily through the beginning half of the season? Uh, for the start, you know, we always had a loose car, and I've just been told, you know, work your throttle slowly and tighter and everything, and it's been working for us. And so. We're starting to get the car where I feel comfortable, so I hope I can get that position. Now, what's, uh, what's the plan maybe heading into the next season, the season after? I mean, you're only going to be 13 next season, so where are you guys hoping to go with this uh, short track program? Oh, uh, maybe another year in the Super Stock. Uh, my dad's kind of thinking lane model, but I'm not so sure about that. Why don't you go ahead and thank some people for me? Uh, Tim Hortons, Cow Scratch Rocky, Inc., uh, Springer's Meats and Products, Fast and Motors, Virtue, and Speed Day, and Lockdown. There you go, folks. 12 years of age, rookie of the year contender here in the Super Stock Division. You can check out the interview at www.insidetracknews.com. Spencer Lewis, right alongside Caden Lapsovich.